live at noon. This is 13 News Now. This video reveals the terrifying moment when a holdup turns violent. Thanks for watching 13 News Now at noon. I'm Christina Sverjako. And I'm Lucy Bustamante. Andre has the day off. So we broke the story last night at 11. A clerk shot by the robbers at the neighborhood market in Craddock. And since then, police have released new details and also the security video that you're watching right now. You can actually see one of the two suspected robbers shoot the clerk as the robber took the cash from the man. Now we dug up some stats about the store. Our Jemmy Lee reports this incident is one of several in the last two years. A terrifying encounter between a pair of robbers and employees at a convenience store in Portsmouth last night. Police say these men wearing dark hoodies walked into the neighborhood market and demanded money. At least one of them had a handgun. Police say the store employees complied with the demands, but one of the suspects shot one of the workers anyway. Both suspects ran off with cash and cigarettes. This isn't the first time the neighborhood market has been targeted. Last month, this man pulled a gun on a cashier and took off with a shopping bag full of money. And back in 2015, there were a slew of incidents. In January, the same market became the target of a lottery scheme. Two suspects smashed their way through the store, taking off with cartons of cigarettes and thousands of stolen lottery tickets. Then in July, another convenience store right next to the neighborhood market was robbed by this man. Just a few days later, a a customer was robbed at the neighborhood market, forced to withdraw money from an ATM. And in October, surveillance video captured these two men robbing the store with a handgun. Police are still looking for the suspects in last night's robbery. The cashier who was shot was taken to the hospital and is expected to be okay. In Portsmouth, Jemmy Lee, 13 News Now. Now detectives are still looking for leads. If you know anything that could help investigators, call the crime line. Remember, you don't have to give your name and your tip could earn you $1,000. A stabbing and a shooting reported within hours of each other at a Newport News nightclub. Dispatchers tell 13 News Now that officers responded to the alley on New Market Square at 1230. They were responding to a report of a stabbing. But then an hour and 15 minutes later, they got called back because of a reported shooting. We're working to find out if these two events are connected and how the people were injured. New information in a story we broke last night. We got an update from police in the last hour. Two men are in custody for making meth and another was arrested on another warrant. It was a scene straight out of Breaking Bad. A suspected meth lab on wheels uncovered in a grocery store parking lot. But the night didn't start with that discovery. They tell us that this all started around 715 last night in James City County. A SWAT team and the Tri River Drug Task Force carried out a search warrant at a house on Tanbark Lane. As that happened, someone pulled up, saw what was going on, then sped off. Police caught up with them at the Farm Fresh on Norge Lane. When officers searched the vehicle, they say they found the makings of a mobile meth lab. Officers found more meth byproducts at a shed at the house, and police are still investigating the situation. Well, we broke the story through a push alert from the 13 News Now app. You can get that app anytime now when news breaks. Go straight to your smartphone, download it for free in the App Store and on Google Play. New at noon, a bad crash on U.S. Route 58 in Southampton County. The accident closed lanes in both directions. Now all lanes on the eastbound side are reopened. This is near Emporia, Virginia. A Nightingale emergency helicopter took one of the victims to Centera Norfolk General Hospital. Officials tell us he has life-threatening injuries. We're told the accident only involved one vehicle, but four people are hurt. We're still working to get more details. Well, another story new at noon. Norfolk International Airport officials tell us that there was an incident with a plane last night. They say that a Delta flight from Atlanta pulled up to Concourse B, and after the passengers got off the flight, airport mechanics started to work on the jet. When they shut down the engines, one of them turned back on. It blew air across the tarmac from Concourse B to A. The air only managed to blow over work cones and took a hose off of a United Airlines flight. Mechanics got the engine back off and the jet is still being worked on. After that situation, they towed the plane across the tarmac and it collided with a building. They tell us that there are no injuries.